it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new Fathers really of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here today. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our kill of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Ben. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the Ready, octagon fight. for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. That is a damaging kick that lands. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Good jab. Oh, man, champ, how good is this? It's as good as a fight you would expect with two dudes holding the controller, just pressing A, B, X, and circle. This is how it happens in UFC EA Sports 5. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Straight punch lands. Able to land with the left hand. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Checks that leg kick. Use your combinations to set up your kicks. Keep going forward. Man, 
how good is this? Back and forth we go. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Hands fire, hands fire. Nice leg kick. Lee's hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Sidekick, well timed there. Final seconds here. Oh, Three seconds for the end of round one. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the road. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Just misses there with the left. Heavy level got it on both sides in that exchange. Shot there. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Big right hand there. We'll work, work with that jab. Jab lands. Slips. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Lee. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf starting to show some signs of bruising. If he takes many more, he's not going to be able to move. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Under two minutes here to go round two. Nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, nice takedown defense. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Nice job blocking that punch. Oh, how good is that jab by Lit? Great job landing multiple kicks. Under a minute to go here in our second round. his highlight reel. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Strong straight left there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Two rounds in the books. Sit down, bud. Take a deep breath, boy. All right, get into one. 
drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready? You ready? Let's here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their... Back to his feet. Pretty significant well to the left side. Oh, he hurt him again. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Back and forth we go. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. My right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Oh, oh a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to fight. Oh, that will finish the fight. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight out, Q, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is oh. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. DC, he talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule, like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told him that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivering. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, big left. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, a big left hand. Hands up, hands up. 
Lee gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Now connects with the left hand. He's going Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh! Oh, that's nice hard kick. Let's go. Let's get a good series of kicks here. Oh! He's hurt bad. Cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Lunges forward with a left there. Got the single collar tie. Now some separation. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Fifth and final round. Big right hook there by the champ. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. What a great way of mixing up with the job of blocking that punch. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to go forward. Find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy anymore. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Back and forth we go. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands 
Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Sidekick is there. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still either be fighting, but he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Ooh! Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, Rogan, you love that wheel kick. Landed there. Nice, good strikes. Keep going forward. Time winding down. Final seconds of the fight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just...